Good evening, Mr. Friedman. Good evening, Mr. Atkinson. Mr. Friedman, could you tell the listeners something about your great compatriot and musician, Ignacy Paderewski? I will do it with rare pleasure, and I'm very glad to be given the opportunity of paying a modest tribute to the great artist and distinguished man. Paderewski's career is, in my opinion, the most interesting in the history of music. His combined genius of a musician and a statesman gives a personality unique in the world. As a leader of his country, he conceived the best idea or rather vision of the future of his fatherland. Will you outline in brief the interesting features of his character? Well, it is rather difficult to do it impromptu. It would take hours to do that. I will try, however, to mention a few of the highlights. Padrevsky, as a man of 29, went to Vienna for the second time to his teacher and friend, Kreshetitsky, to take lessons from him, in spite of the fact that his career and fame as an outstanding artist and composer was already established. He started all over again to improve his art, to make it really great. His uh, material position wasn't good. He had to struggle, and his great teacher gave him lessons without fee, arranging them for, for him to appear at concerts and recitals. Two years later, Padrewski had gone very far and his miraculous career became second to none in the history of music. I would like to point out that there was nothing casual in this career, nothing due to clever advertisement. He earned his fame by hard work and his genius. We should remember that uh, a career which runs for a half a century without diminishing for a single moment, is not faked and can't be accounted for be anything else except pure genius. Uh, did you ever come in personal contact with Paderewski? Yes. The first time was when I was nine. My teacher took me to him and I played for him, should I rather say before him. I met him years later in Australia, when he was, uh, was on his way to New Zealand. Finally, five years ago, I sent a cable to Padreski congratulating him on his 75th birthday. I received in a reply a very nice letter. That is most interesting, Mr. Friedman. Would you mind telling us more about his personality? Not at all. Padreski certainly a striking personality. His talents are universal. Had he not been a great virtuoso, he would have become famous as a composer. And it is rather a pity he didn't sacrifice more time for composing. He is one of the best speakers I have ever heard and has uh, excellent uh, command of five languages. He has been for half a century uh, an unofficial ambassador of his country, and his services in this connection are immense. He would have been a very good and talented journalist, and he is an excellent billiard and bridge player. He is a man of a great and good heart, and never was a man in need turned away without help. He spent nearly all of his great fortune, about $7 million, in the cause of Poland. I would like to finish my short tribute to this great man and artist by saying that in the history of Poland he will live forever as the greatest patriot of his fatherland. He will live forever in the memory of Mankin and generations to come as a great musician, great among the greatest.